love the smell of karate in the afternoon. All right. Well, I am Grant from Screen Rant. It's good to see everybody again after seeing y'all on the set a couple months back. Yes. And to talk about part one, now that I have finally gotten the chance to see it, it is an incredible start to this final season. Uh, Josh, I will start with you, then John and Hayden. How? What was the biggest challenge for the three of you in closing out this show, whether it be a certain character arc, building out the world, or just even the Sekai Taikai? Every part of it was challenging and rewarding. You know, we wanted to build upon the premise of what the Sekai Taikai is and will become uh, in this season and make sure that's it, that it's as bombastic and uh, interesting as possible. When you have a world tournament, that brings with it, you know, world tournament fighters and it brings with it events. And you have to start thinking of this tournament differently than any tournament you've seen on this show or in this franchise before. It's an animal unto itself. So that was one. Secondly, it's just the uh, the, the variety and amount of characters that uh, we have in this universe right now that we care about that are important to uh, the fandom and making sure that everybody is uh, landing in a way that is satisfying, that is uh, enjoyable, that is unexpected, um, that gives you the, the feels, be they you know, triumphant, tragic, or otherwise, and uh, making sure that we can deliver upon what was in our brains, you know, seven or eight years ago when we first, um, you know, cooked up this idea and uh, staying true to our original intent, um, ending it the way that we planned while, you know, being mindful of, of all of that. And then John and Hayden, do you want to add on? Oh, I mean, uh, oh, oh, I mean, he covered a lot there. I mean, for, for me, I think the biggest thing was uh, the juggling the amount of characters that we had while also when you have this new tournament you're introducing more new characters so you know you, you have a you know half hour show yes we have 15 episodes this year but you want to make sure that everybody has their time and place to shine uh, and that you're telling full and ro robust stories that are compelling uh, and then bringing in new characters uh, within that that you get to know uh, quickly but are impactful uh, so uh, there was there was a lot going on this year. I mean, doing 15 episodes instead of 10 in a season was a whole other challenge. Um, but uh, it was real fun. We were all energized to get back in the dojo, and uh, we're very thrilled with the results. Now, one of the things I'm really excited about part one introducing is more of Mr. Miyagi's past, and it being more troublesome than Daniel and the audiences are sort of used to knowing. What was it like really, you know, finding the right angle to do that without necessarily... I don't want to say tarnishing, but sort of upending too much of what audiences know and love about Ralph Morita's character. You know, we came at that, you know, the, the, the Mr. Miyagi storyline in season six comes from a place of trying to understand the past while not having all the answers. And it's very frustrating for, you know, Daniel's character to find out all these secrets about Mr. Miyagi that he had kept from Daniel um, while not, you know, having all the answers at his disposal. And it's something that we just felt was uh, a continuation of the story that we've been tracking with Daniel this whole time, which is you know, him taking on the Miyagi role for a new generation um, you know, instilling Miyagi-Do philosophy to his kids and, and the other students there. Um, the, the big conflict that Daniel has this season is realizing that, you know, his mentor, who he thought was, uh, you know, the, the most perfect ideal person of all time, actually had flaws. And I think, you know, for us, we, we were okay with that because we always assumed that Mr. Miyagi was a, a human being and that, you know, he wasn't necessarily born a sage. He wasn't born with somebody who had all the answers. And, you know, this season you're going to get at a, a little taste of that. Um, and the hope is that it's not something that upends what you think about Miyagi, but instead kind of, you know, paints a deeper picture of him. Um, but for the here and now, you know, it, it rocks Daniel to his core and it's, something that's just throwing a wrench into his mojo um, at a time when, you know, the students need him at his best. Well, I'm really excited to see how it evolves in part two, because I I'm sure it's going to 
really affect the early days of the Sekai Taikai, and I'm curious to see what other mysteries he's going to learn along the way. So I see I'm already out of time, so I will get on out of here. But thank you guys so much. It's great catching up with you again, and I look forward to talking with you more in the future. Yeah, yeah see you later on. Sounds good. Cobra Kai is back.